Hare Hare Krishna basically I want to talk with you about this book the king of knowledge book and about the title where is the evidence of Krishna married over 16 married married over 16 wives and kept them nicely in 16 16,000 six, has 16,000 wives and kept them nicely in 16,000 palaces and yeah and it says that the ordinary man can't do this but you know as it says in I mean an ordinary man some ordinary men can't keep one wife some can but the thing about it is that where is the rock hard evidence of Krishna having all of these wives and keeping them 16 over 16,000 not just that how can you if, you if you're you're a man if you're a man and you have or whoever has 16,000 wives how can you travel about the place on these 16 palaces or Krishna how can Krishna travel to travel to all these wives in one day 16,000 in one day 16,000 in one day I mean look at I mean you don't you don't have many hours or days to get by or weeks or years to get by I mean take it for instance it, it could take you at least 1600 years to to look it take you 1600 years to roughly or roughly 1600 years to to basically to actually to actually get get to talk with these wives and and their and mo and their emotions and and att and attend to their emotions yeah not just that you know suppose many wives su suppose all these wives have individual problems with kids and all and economic problems all sorts of problems there's so much problems in the world how could even even in this age and in the past there was problems in the past how can Krishna attend to all of these needs for all of these women so you know how can he do that for over 16, 16, 16 wives 16,000 wives and if, if you do the maths if we do the maths I mean we have six we, without uh, we have three we have 365 365 days of the year 365 days and if it's a leap year it's 600, 666 if he had 616,000 wives 16,000 wives and you add that up to to you know you have one wife each day you know you're not gonna have you're not gonna have enough days to fill it to fill to meet them up to meet the demand you know you have to be five minutes with that wife five minutes or not just that just one second for that wife I mean it's not enough time and space to be able to do that you could say to me I'm, I'm, I'm doing it in a human perspective but I'm also doing it in a common sense perspective I'm not just doing it in my own comments in my own mind my own selfish nature because because I'm a man not because I'm a man I'm doing it in a selfish nature because because I'm jealous or anything like that I'm just doing it in a way of a in a way of common sense of of reality of of rethink of methodically thinking it through and carefully thinking it through so yeah to add to this according to an a, a, a blog an article well a blog I should say apparently Krishna or Lord Krishna died at age 36 or 36 years after after me after someone somebody cursed after the mother I think the mother cursed after basically after Gandhari was over overcome with grief it was after, after and and her son 
that she cursed Lord Krishna and then yeah she, he died at, at 36 years or after 36 years either, either age 36 or after 36 years so and it was done by and he, and he, and he died in the hands of a hunter so if 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 Krishna if if we if we're saying Krishna is God, he should be able to defend himself. If he if he is a God, if he is Almighty, he should have been able to defend himself without dying. And with all this polygamy, you know, which is basically having more than one wives, how can he take care of them? Over sixteen thousand. I mean, if if you're in a battlefield and you're and you're battling for survival with any kind of war or any wars, whether it's with sword, whether it's with sword or guns or bombs or whatever, you know, you're you're a mo you're a modern man. You're not you're not a god. You can't be a god if you're battling in in the battlefield, and you've been and you've been killed by a hunter. You know, you're 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 a modern man. You, you know, if you are a god, you you, sh you shouldn't have to work work towards winning winning the battle. Only human beings do that. You know, we have to think of these things in in a in a with the commons with a, a, a com in a common way. I'm not being rude. I'm not I'm not being rude when I say common sense because it is common sense. We have to have common sense with these things when we follow these religions and and when we when we're following the faith when we're following the faith we have to we have to follow it in a correct in a correct way that we can understand. Not, not, not lacking in understanding or letting the world sway our judgment or and our minds. What's, what's been planted in our hearts and minds. We should try not to let these things sway. So yeah, you know. But if you got any, any things you want, you want to ask me, then just give me a call in the descriptions. So yeah, I hope this enlightened you. I just thought I mention it, you know and we're talking about basically where I'm on basically this is where it talks about the 16 over 16 wives and as you know I'm talking from this book the king of knowledge I don't know if I showed you earlier and and, I, and I'm on I'm, I'm I'm on page 27 page 27 on the first paragraph the, the a large paragraph so yeah and he also he, he also says in the kingdom of knowledge he says he kept these these wives these 16000 wives nicely you know happy and everything but like it's like I, it's like what I've said before you know what I've said earlier in the video just watch it again if you don't understand because to to be able to keep to, to be able to keep these all these wives you know it can't be that easy and you know I don't know if that's actually I don't I don't believe that's actually true that somebody can 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 keep or can keep over 16 over 16,000 wives I don't believe that I don't believe that's correct there needs to be documentary evidence for that rock hard solid evidence that's been kept in a safe or kept safe by security guards like any any other security or sacred things you know it should be kept away securely and you know with rock like I said rock hard evidence document documentary evidence and proof by not just scholars but just evidence and 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 being able to be be this this and and Krishna should be able to be present in our lives even today we should be able to sense a feeling of him or sensory evidence of him in our bodies in our minds and awareness of him and you know if you wanna if you want to know because because it is mentioned Christianity in this book but I mean Christianity is mentioned in this book the king of knowledge book and if you ever want to feel the presence of feel the presence of Krishna and the Hindu gods and also Jesus and God just give me a call if anything and I will show show God to you 
wh whichever one you think whichever one you think whichever one comes basically so yeah that's really all I have to say in this video and bye for now and Hari Hari Krishna